All right. Um, with that, we are ready to start. Done party creation. We are loaded to go. Anacosta, Scarlet, Toktar, and Safi. Let's go. Let's start. Ah. Oh, yeah. We can play the narration. How lovely. Our point of light. Plain, floating through the endless void. Bearing a blossoming civilization. Until seven years ago, when during a single night... Thousands upon thousands of rocks and stones smashed into the surface of our point of light. This was the night of the shooting stars, and the beginning of this latest time of danger and turmoil. The night passed, but its consequences did not. From the rocks that fell onto the western reaches emerged otherworldly monsters who began to conquer and consume our lands. The king mobilized and we assembled great armies for the first time since ages to hold the line against these outsiders. We have been only partly successful. A front line emerged between the demons in our lands and the war came to a stalemate with men and women siphoned off to the kingdom to reinforce the defensive line leaving precious few to protect towns like Donsbury from the more ordinary threats of maraudering orcs and kobolds. Perhaps worse still, the volcano in the corner of the world has started erupting with a terrifying regularity. The citizens of Donsbury are afraid and time has come for heroes to take up the burden of responsibility and save this town from the sinister clouds gathering over it. Well, there we go. Uh, we are going to start with our first incredible quest. The quest for the Golden Candelabra. So, uh, yeah. Let's see here. You gather in Dawnsbury Main Square and glance nervously at the nearby horizon. Soon, time will come for you to begin your first quest. But before that, best get yourself ready. Shrug off your anxiety. Sit down in the grass. Discuss battle tactics with your friends and teammates. In Dawnsbury, you're in downtime mode, uh, and you can retrain Dawnsbury for and buy and sell items. Your training panel can make any changes you like to each party member's character sheet. It represents a shift in training for the party member in Dawnsbury under the privilege of Roderick or other mentors. After you leave Dawnsbury, the character sheet will be locked in, and you won't be able to make any changes until the next downtime in Dawnsbury. Our panel, um, yeah. Uh, is on? When you're ready, click one. Your first quest. Let's do it. Medium. Uh, yeah. Let's begin. And if you encounter any undead, remember they are weak to positive energy. So we'll cast heal on them using all three actions, so we hit all of them at once. Right, Roderick? We don't have heal. Yes. I don't think there will be any undead, but. The temple with the candelabra has been abandoned for seven years, and you know how these things go. Mm -hmm. And kobolds have been swarming in the woods lately. If they ambush you, they will likely attempt to flank you. So we will focus them one by one to reduce their numbers. We know all this, Elder. You trained us well, and we are ready to prove our worth. Give us your blessing, and we will go. Good work, voice. <laughs> Someone is doing his best. Bless him. Blessing? But but Roderick isn't a cleric. Only clerics can cast bless. It's half of your dumb idiot. Even so, I agree with Tokdar. We are ready, Roderick. I know you are. Then I will waste your time no longer. Dawnsbury 4. Your quest is to find and retrieve the Golden Candelabra. Ooh. An ancient artifact that protected our town for generations. Sounds important. Go to the abandoned temple to the east and descend into the sanctum. Find the candelabra, take it, and come back. Donsbury depends on you, and you are ready. Good luck. Hooray. We'll make you proud, Roderick. <laughs> Bye, Roderick. The abandoned temple is ten miles east, largely through a forest. If we leave now, we'll get there before nightfall. Then let's leave now, friends. My blade thirsts for victory. Are we really going on a real quest? Just the four of us? 
Oh of my. Of course, Safi. We are the Donsbury Four. We're adventurers now. Great. Wait. I hear something. Two small humanoids approaching through the undergrowth from the east. Bah. So you <laughs> saw our ambush. No matter. We will defeat you, and then I will become the new battle leader. Wow. That is a f nefarious kobold. Look at him. Look at those killer eyes. Two kobold warriors. Untrained. Poorly equipped. My assessment? Trivial threat. Look at yourself, pitiful creature. You are frail and outnumbered. Flee now, or you will die here. Yeah. We not listen to stupid orc. We fight. Very well, then. We fight. Places, everyone. Just like we rehearsed. Let's show these brigands what the Dawnsbury Four can do. <gasps> uh, I don't think I need my armor on this battle. Uh, so I will pass on that. Two kobolds, huh? Well, look at that threat. So yeah, this is the interface. It is sort of a, a map tools or, or like foundry light, I suppose. Um, yeah, kind of neat. Kind of, kind of neat. We will cast. Let's see, the counter performance. Let's uh, let's inspire courage. Is mental you inspire all allies with words or tunes of encouragement? Sixty foot domination. You and all allies in the area get a plus one status bonus to attack rolls, damage rolls, and saves against fear face for one round. Incredibly useful. Um, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. So inspired. Can I... Can I bon mot from here? Do I have the reach? Oh, I do have the range on the guy. Hey, you. Bon mot has succeeded. You couldn't handle my house cat. Wow. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Take that cobalt. Um after that we'll get the shield up for her. Uh, I like I like the little can I zoom in? No, not really. Uh you don't have any more actions? End turn. Alright. Oh dear. Oh no, the bear. Uh okay. Battle medicine the bear, I suppose. Uh we're gonna hunt prey. We're gonna hunt prey, I guess the closest target. Although Pokemon is first, so Hunt prey the guy in the back. He's now our prey. Which means uh, what exactly? Designate a creature battlefield to be your prey. Turn guys burns to perception checks to seek. Also ignore penalty for making range attacks within your second range increment. There's edge and features our riders. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I click here. Yes, I can do hunted shots. So this is pretty good. I will command my animal companion. Yeah. Uh, two. I think this gives him two actions. So we'll do a jaws here. Bite the cobalt. Very good. Uh, oh. Uh, I want to take a non move action. Oh. Okay. I thought you could attack and do that, but maybe you can't. And then strike because the the claw is agile, which means that the multiple attack penalties are minus four instead of a minus. <laughs> All right, the bear has done well. Um, now we will do the hunted shot, which means we shoot twice on our hunted target. All yeah. threats eliminated. I detect no more enemies in the area. We won, Scarlet. <laughs> we won. Excellent work, team. Now let's rest a little. And then we set off for the abandoned temple. Yay. We defeated the puny kobolds. We are awesome indeed. Uh, medium rest. Um, Seven rolls of the uh, healer's kit. Even the scarlet counts around as it goes to the perimeter. You can't stay here for long. You have some uh, time to refocus. Yes. Uh, all party members healed up to full HP. You can have focus points if they have focus pool. Receive loot! Party plan to redistribute the loot among the party members. Then, when you're ready, you can proceed. Okay. Um, let's go to the party. Oh, wow. Look, look at these guys. They were loaded up. Um, let's then give the bark skin to Safi, I guess. Another my healing potion here. And one here. Gold. Uh, all right. Fair enough. 
Where's the ambush? My Wait. goodness. Kobolds hiding behind those rocks over there. <gasps> A second kobold raiding party in one day? The kobolds indeed are swarming. Show yourselves, banded weaklings. Who are you? Yes, indeed. Ha ha ha, yes. I will tell you my name. I am Nightbringer, the legendary dragon mage of the fiend from stars. I will be the one who takes your lives today. Uh, a legendary mage? But I haven't even learned to spell magic yet. What can we do? Oh, damn it, Safi. I don't feel that much power from him. <laughs> I think no. he knows maybe level one spells at best. Still, we should probably down him first. Mm hmm, wise. I will not be going down, neither first nor last. We will see about that. Let's roll initiative. Hooray. E no, I don't think I need my armor here either, so we'll pass on that. Uh, oh, was it first? Okay, okay. Um. Well then, who'd grease them with a wide spell? That would be kind of fun. Uh, that would be kind of fun, but I don't think I need to spend that much. Um, let's see, I can see his stats. That's nice. Hmm. Enter electric arc. Why? Not in no one in range. That might be it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's not in range. Good move up an electric arc. Not a bad move. Seven reflex. Seven reflex on these guys. A uh, bit of a crapshoot. As well, just shoot him, honestly. I wonder if I stand here, I would have cover, I guess, but I don't think he will cover. We'll, we'll test out the system. Look over here. Cast a spell. Needle darts. Uh, yeah, no, that's correct. Let's do it. 55% chance to hit. Oh well. Uh, Torkar and then the Komalts are up. We need to get in there. We need to. We need to get in there and uh, and do some damage to this guy. So, on to stride. Then I think we will move here to try to really get into the business of these cobalts. Um, yeah, go here and then we will strike. Nightbringer. Okay, he's pretty healthy. Uh, all right, good. Uh, yeah, we need to hunt prey, and we need to hunt prey on the mage. Command the bear, move forward, help out here. Move the bear up here. Let's forge. Okay, so that's just sort of, well, I guess he only had two actions, so stride and support, that makes sense. All right, so now he's supporting, so if I hit, he's, he's going to maul her. Uh, the mage here. Um, yes. Uh, he's going to maul her for an additional 1d8 slashes. That's pretty damn good. Let's see if we can hit. Hunt and shot. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good combo. Bard, uh, well. I would emanate to everything, so I do like that. Let's just let's just do that, I guess. Inspire courage. A little bit late there, but oh, you know. Um, and that was one action. So we have needle dart, so we can attempt to kill this uh, mage. We'll do that. Miss, God damn it. Let's see. Cobalt warrior. See, uses stride, which provokes. Use your reaction to make an attack opportunity. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? Oh. What? He get electric arc? Boo. Oh god, there's a lot of shit that came down there. What happened? Uh. Oh, well, Scotland's bear critically fails the saving throw against electric arc. Oh no! It took so much damage! Okay, well. I'm gonna hit you back with electric arc, actually. 
keep pounding on the mage because he, he just needs to go here. Resisted. Oh, okay. Fair play. Fair play. Shield. Alright. I can tumble over there. Interesting. Uh yeah, so we need to we need to go to work here. So what I can do is actually get into a flank. These kobolds can't really uh do attacks of opportunity, so we will go here. And now 80% chance to hit. Let's do it, bear. Pretty good. Eight damage. No crit though. Um, which is fine. Attack again. 55%. Come on. Ew. Um, strike to whisper rogues is like yes. Hey, there we go. Yeah, you, you see, you a normal hit did eight and a crit at 31 on that pick. So that's why you want the picks on the warriors. Um oh electric arc is really powerful. This is one of the best cantrips in the in the game they did nerf it in the remaster so it's not as good anymore but uh, but yeah no it is um, it is quite quite powerful these the bear is gonna attack critted for 24 damage very good swipe at this cobalt very good bear is, is doing great ray hunted shot um Here we go. The air is clear. But we're winded and hurt. We need some time to recover. It's four miles still to the temple, and we only have three hours of daylight left. Then let's only take a short break to treat our wounds, and then we'll carry on. Hey. We have a we have a medium rest now, then we have a battle, and then a long rest. So next battle, all spells are go. Then we just blast it, pretty much. That's what we're doing here. Hey, loot. Oh, hello. It's neat. Effie, you got the you got the burning hands one. Um, get that potion visibility. Bad. Um, let's get this to an Acosta in case she needs to be hidden for a bit. And another potion to talk to. Sixteen gold. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got. Quiet. Multiple hostiles in the ruins. Oh no, it's it's Toktar's friend. <laughs> it's Toktar's twin. Why we listen to him? He not even kobold. Good question. Maybe you should revolt. He has the big neck splitter in hand. Oh yeah, inspired courage is incredible. Like like bards are so useful. Um in second edition pathfinder it's uh it's really cool like how good they are i i remember the day when bars were kind of useless uh and these days they are fantastic but he just idles here in old ruins like coward he not worthy of being battle leader shut your mouth insolent creature or next time i'll strike you with the pointy end if this is the default picture for all orc warriors, we need to change Toktar's picture. <laughs> it's, not, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be feasible. Yow. Yes, battle leader. Mm. And we do not idle. We protect the candelabra so the humans cannot retrieve it. It is the fiend's great stratagem. Oh, really? But isn't Dark Skeleton in temple protecting it? <sighs> Dark Skeleton. Bah, a skeleton. <coughs> The undead cannot be trusted. True. Battle leader, I see a party. They <laughs> approach from the west. Oh, that was a sniper. Damn, we've been spotted. We sure have. Diplomacy, Anna? No, I don't think there's any point. This looks to be very important to them. We'll need to fight. I will happily sink my sword into more kobolds. These little pests have terrorized Donsbury for long enough. To battle! Ha! <laughs> It's Tokdar. You're a traitor to your ancestry. Why did you betray us, renegade? I left a band of marauders to live in a community of friends. I never regretted my decision. Mm. I will make you regret it today. To me, kobolds! Kill this traitor and crush his friends! Uh, yes, we will cast Mage Armor here. 
All right, wizard is first out. This is good. This is good. Uh, we're gonna widen Greece, I think. Oh, that's short range. We're gonna reach Greece, I think. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can only reach. Um, touch? No, I can't reach the Greece for some reason. Okay, never mind. Uh, we can move forward a bit. Greece. 30 range. 10 foot burst if I widen it. That's pretty good. Uh, see here, I want to target it like here. I would cover them all. I might not even need to widen it, honestly, here. Uh, not really, no. But uh, we will. Uh, so we will move forward here, actually. And again, if I put it here. We'll block off this entire place and I can just stand here like shooting at them. That's not too bad of a, of a not too bad of a strat. Let's try that. So let's grease all of this. All right, that's a good grease animation. <laughs> Wait, he went into the grease himself. Critical fail. Oh gosh. Okay, they went through pretty quick. Uh, gotta say, well. Anyway, inspire courage, yes. Uh, and then we are going to bon mot the orc. I don't think he has a lot of will, no. Hey, you. Critical success on his save. No, she critically succeeded against the orc. Okay. More of a conversation will be fixed my brain. Okay, so he has, uh, he has quite a debuff now, I believe. Can't see it. Uh, let's see, a says the target is distracted and takes a minus th three status penalty to perception will for one minute. All right, so that debuffs his will. So now I can really hit him with days and stuff like that. That's the, uh, that's the idea here. Um, and I guess I can demoralize him as well. Huh. Succeeded, so he has, because again, the... All right, makes sense. All right, the bond mod lowered his will save, and then we uh, debuffed him with some scary talk. So now he has minuses. He, fear is really good in second condition Pathfinder. It lowers all saves, attack rolls, uh, AC goes down by the fear value. So the orc is feared one. He has a minus one to pretty much everything, which is really powerful. Uh, that provokes, so we don't want to do that. Uh, you will move here, Toktar, and you will strike at this orc. You missed. That is not what I want from you. You will strike at this cobalt. You will strike at this orc. Miss again. That is most unfortunate. Okay. Command the companion. Um. Hmm. Fifty-five percent chance, or we do the support ability. Uh, not super easy pick here. Right. So, ah, we'll double attack. We'll, we'll risk it for a biscuit here. So, bite. That was good. Claw. That was less good. Then... Hunt prey, and we shoot. Okay. But no, this does low damage though, unfortunately. Um. But anything works. Uh, if you had supported with the bear, that would have been additional like two d eight damage, which probably would have. Kill them, but uh, hard to say these days. Um, yeah, electric arc is damn good in this situation. To get him a fifty percent chance, forty-five. Uh, uh, crap shoot. But he needs to go. I can't have him there. Good day, sim. Seventy-five percent chance. Thanks to the bon mot. 
he uh, deals four damage. How much health does he have left? He has two. So this might indeed just kill him. There we go. Critical failure. Ferocity. All right, so he has orc ferocity, but he is stunned one, so that removes one of his actions next turn. Not bad. Um, shield up. Uh, Kuro uses a strand action which provokes. Want to make the opportunity? Yes. All right, I'm getting into flank here, so that's dangerous. Um. So we will do lingering composition to get the inspire curse to last uh, an, an additional, I think, four rounds. Um, one round. Okay, so I can, I can basically spend an action to keep it going, which is good. That's fine. Um, Right, uh, I want to supercharge, uh, it's got bow, I don't know what I want here. Because she, that's a good attempt to daze him again, he's still bon motted. The worst, Octar is next. Worst, but no magic weapon is so powerful. So the magic weapon makes your uh, make, gives you a plus one to hit, uh, and an extra weapon dice. So her uh, short bow now does two d six damage instead of one d six, which is uh, quite improved. Uh, magic weapon is excellent. Uh, one of the best early spells in the game. All right, Toktar, uh, you really need to kill this guy. I could move, but that will provoke. Um, I'm, so I'm not super into it. Make it way easier to hit. Ah, we'll attack first. Ferocity again. Wait, you can't ferocity again. You already ferocity. Hello? That's, Ill <laughs> That's illegal. You can't do that. Alright. 5%, 15%. You kill this guy in the back? No. Alright, that's weird. Uh, stride, yes. Oh god, we're being swarmed. Oh god, command the animal. Uh, so, we like this guy really needs to go here. Uh, we'll strike at him with our jaws. No. Strike at him with our claws. <sighs> Jesus Christ, he was tough. Um, yeah. Alright. Mark this kobold here. Shoot him. <laughs> There we go, critted and everything. Uh, which, again, with a short bow is quite dangerous. Um, as you can see here, 2d6 plus 1 from the magic enchantment. Half the strength bonus, I guess increased status, spike curse, critical, doubles everything times 2. And the short bow is also deadly d10, so you add an extra d10 on the damage at the end. This was a 9. Pretty damn good. We're winning this, certainly. Uh, cast spells. Uh, Electric arc, but we'll move here. Yes, magic weapon on top dark. Uh, the pick, please. Yes. <laughs> Linger the composition. And then we will needle dart this kobold. Alright. Dart. Kill. Yes. Move here and kill. Almost dead. Uh, command the bear. The bear moves here. Strikes. There Area we, secured. Nightfall is imminent. we have defeated an orc and kobold. Truly, we are heroes. Oops. Phew. This was exhausting. Well, I concur with the child. Even I cannot continue further today. Then it's unanimous. We'll set up camp here. Scarlet, set up perimeter. Safi, cooking. Tokdar, loot the bodies. Yes, Anna. Yes, battle. I'm on it. We'll rest overnight to recover our energy and our spell slots. And then in the morning, we'll enter the temple. <laughs> Um, 
Uh, take watch. All partner members will be healed to full. Focus points will be replenished. Once per day abilities will be available again. While casters have regained their spell slots. If your party contains any prepared casters, such as clerical wizards, they can make daily preparation. Um, yeah, well, we'll keep the ones we have. I think that's fine. The, uh, the grease was sort of a mixed bag a little bit, but it uh, wasn't too bad. Helped in the beginning there. Uh, yeah, do we get any loot? Oh, yes. Look at this. Orc Neck Splitter. MD8 Forceful. Bad, but I do like the pick. Although, we do know Undead is up. We do know that we're coming up against a skeleton, so... For that, let's give him the flail for that coming up. Roll of heal, this is really good. Oh, she's like, whatever, I can't use this. Can anyone use these? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Push of visibility. There, I guess we'll sell these later. True, Bart doesn't have, um, have Sooth, they don't have heal. And no trickmatic item in the game, unfortunately. The skeletal champion. The dark skeleton, yes. I have a bad feeling about this place. That is a dark skeleton. Let's move carefully. Safi, what are these rooms to the left? Chambers for sanctified fonts. They used to radiate positive energy. But now that the temple is crumbling, all the fonts are broken down. There's a corpse by one of the fonts. Seems to have died to a slashing weapon. Let's be careful. A walking skeleton! <laughs> An undead abomination ahead of us! You've come to take the golden candelabra. The shaman has commanded that none may pass to take it. Good skeleton voice. The shaman! You mean it was an orc spellcaster who reanimated you? Um, I think that's what he means, yes. Mm -hmm. Someone poking at me, what is this? No, go away. What about that? Yes, he commanded that I kill to pass to the inner sanctum. I will execute his command now. So orcs can sort with the undead now. <laughs> I only pity that I didn't leave the tribe earlier. Come, Abomination! I will lay you to rest! Yes, I will come. But first, rise and serve. Bodies of the dead. Oh no, ho oh, ho. Oh. Curses! Zombies behind us. <laughs> yes. We're surrounded. On your guard, everyone, and remain in formation. Um, no, let's pass on the main channel for now. But this is certainly dangerous. Uh, I don't want the bear in there already, so maybe leave him uncommanded at the moment. Hilton is up. Okay, so just pouring all power into the skeleton seems to be a prudent choice hunt prey on him and then we'll just shoot here Eesh. okay we keep shooting we have a minus six multiple attack penalty that's a bit much 50 percent chance i guess commanding uh commanding animal is is decent uh, he's going to move up. So we're going to do a support action with the bear. And step here to see if we can prevent his approach a little bit. Okay, fair enough. Um, bear is tanking, which is decent. We have some zombies coming in, which is not great. But let's see what we can do. Flail him. Attack maneuver. Maybe we can knock him down with the flail trip. That'd be 40%. Ah, crack him. Okay, good. Good damage. Miss. Okay, that's fine. 
That is somewhat under control. I reach. I don't need to reach magic weapon. Uh, but I will cast magic weapon on Scarlet. There we go. And shield up myself. Uh, yeah, we, we need Inspire Courage. Sure. There we go. And then. Shield touch is touch, which is a problem. Zombies can't be that good at this, right? <laughs> Maybe we should bond moth the guy. Um, hey you. Critical success against him. Okay. He is really low, so let's scare him next. You no. suck, girl. Critical success. He's frightened too and has a minus two to all of his attacks and whatnot. That's great. Excellent. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're approaching fast. Um right. Then, uh, yeah, we need to command, of course. So, I think they are vulnerable to slashing. Maybe that is what's happening here. Uh, see here in jabs, grab. Unities, mental negative poison, weakness, slashing. Aha. Very good. They're, oh, the bear stepped. Well, that's nice. Claws are slashing, I believe. Oh, that's piercing. Claws are slashing. That's claw. Wrecked him. Absolutely destroyed him. Right, we'll hunt prey on the skeleton. No, he's already hunted. We don't need you. Excellent. Mm. He is demoralized and all that stuff, so we'll, we'll, just, we'll just shoot him here. Hunt. Hunt the target. Alright, nine damage. Uh, yeah. Teen. Yeah, okay. Keep shooting. Okay. Almost. Uh, use a stride to provoke. Will you attack? Yes. Oh, number two failed. All right. Hit him. Get him. Good. Very good. Um, all right. Can we change equipment? Left hand? Yes. Give me the orc neck splitter. Slash at this guy. Or we actually stride over here. I can't, it's too far away. Attack. Yeah. You cast a spell and then walk away, and that's what I'm thinking. Electric arc? I don't think zombies are very dexterous. Very good. And then walk up here. Linger the composition. And we can chill touch actually this thing. Why not, right? He saved. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, command the animal. He will claw. Yes, very good. Claw again. Good. You hunt prey this Zambo and shoot him. Alright. Rangers, they're doing good. Doing God's work. Move here. Work next split. There. These were undead, Anna. We won our first fight against supernatural creatures. I think it was difficult terrain, but I think they they were quick enough to actually move through it. Because they spent like all their actions moving up. Yes, child. The Oracle has smiled upon us today. Oracle was like, just, sh just, Jesus. It felt invigorating to finally put all that training into good use against these undead abominations. Mm -hmm. There's a hidden compartment in this pillar. Ooh. I think that's a plus one weapon. Well, well. Then let's take it and then take some rest. And then we will go down into the sanctum. <laughs> Proceed. Get a medium rest. And... Plus one rapier and a plus one longsword. 
Not bad. Good girl, go to you. Long sword, close to Mokdar. Scroll of Bless, you can do that, right? Scroll of Bane, yeah, she can do those. Let's do that. My scrolls. Forty-four gold. Hmm. Almost get a full plate when I get back. One long sword. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, no more undead coming up. Uh, all right. Let's go and get the uh, candelabra, and then we we'll level up. Ooh, level two. Incredible power. I see the candelabra. Wow. It's still lit a flame, even after seven years of abandonment. Wow. And only two rats protect it. Ha! <laughs> This almost feels wrong. Oh no, they look pretty sneaky. It does feel wrong. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. I take your points, but perhaps we are just lucky. Let's kill the rats and take the artifact. We cast Mage on. And we will cast... I think it was time to drain a bonded item and cast Magic Weapon here. Um, put the Magic Weapon on... Yeah, we need, we need it on both of these guys, really. So it, w it wouldn't matter too, too much. Um, her. And then shield. Oh, now the other rat approaches. A fast rat. As they spell, we need to inspire courage, of course. Uh, could even bless, maybe? What is the status? I think that's what you get for the... Inspire Courage. Let's see, status bonus. Yeah, so it doesn't stack with Bless. Inspire Courage is just better than Bless, honestly. It's just, you need to maintain it, but you need to do it with Bless as well. Yeah. Uh, Magic Weapon. Uh, Scarlet has it, so let's put it on Dark Dark. Uh, the Long Sword, please. Yes. Uh, we will command the mayor. Move up here. Then... Fight. Good. Want to prey on that rat, and we will flurry shoot it. Rats are dead. Let's grab the golden candelabra and return to the town and regale Donsbury with the tales of our glory. That was easy. It won't be as simple as that. Now oh, we're still in combat. The GM says, "Keep, keep initiative rolling." Oh no! What dread secret awaits? Uh, well, I guess we'll I guess we'll move like here and raise the shield. Be on be on guard here. Um, good degrees, but we don't really know where they're coming from yet. So, go next to the candelabra and she touch the golden candelabra. Okay. Something is happening. I feel a surge of energy from the southern wall. Uh oh. Wait, citizens. You would take the golden candelabra away from the Dawnsbury Temple? This temple has been abandoned, Protector, as it's too far away in a land controlled by kobolds. We have built a new temple closer by. I think that's a magic mouth, Tokdar. It's only a triggered message. Whoever said this is long gone. Thankfully, my magic detected that you are citizens of Dawnsbury. But only worthy heroes may move my artifact. <gasps> my artifact. Yes, the candelabra is also inspired. Is this the voice of the Dawnbringer? <laughs> Face now the gauntlet, citizens. If you pass, then you have my blessing to take the candelabra. Oh my. Uh, does everyone give out blessings now? What's the point of even being a cleric, then? Good question. Monsters will spawn next round by the southern wall. Then let's assume good positions and tackle the Dawnbringer's trial head on. Okay, southern wall. We can do that. Here. Anger a composition. And she. Uh, I guess I will move you here. Do more of a look at everywhere. That seems fine with me. 
I don't know if they have the larva blocks line of sight, but I guess we'll see. Uh, command bear. I guess we'll move the bear over here. You take cover, I suppose, until you move. Launches and standard cover. Ready to cover. Ah. Couldn't move him up. Just stand there, raise the shield, but uh, I guess it's gonna act on the candelabra's turn. Uh, let's raise the shield and burn. Oh no. Oh no, it's a lantern archon. Well, alright then. I don't think I can grease them, I think they fly. Um, so, needle darts. Sure. Okay. Linger the composition, of course. So I assume this is a bless effect coming out from the candelabra here. Can I see that anywhere? Yes, I see when I attack. Um. One of them. Oh, let's snipe him. Uh, proficiency status, inspire courage. Oh yeah, I got the plus one from the golden candelabra. Well, that's nice. Plus one untyped bonus. <laughs> okay, get wrecked. By weird, weird thing. Uh, yeah, command the animal. Then I will move forward. Shit. Uh, actually, uh, support. Yeah, let's do the support thing. Hunt prey. Shoot. Yes, we can sh uh, Yeah, it does have a plus two circumstance bonus to cover. Makes sense. Oh god, the light ray. Oh no! Oh, oh god! There's a lot of light rays! Oh my! Oh my! And the light rays are agile and a finesse weapon. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All the 16. Yeah, so. Not bad. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we can't have that. That, 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 sir. Sir, please stop, sir. Uh, critical hit. He's banished. Back to the Shadow Realm. You go back up here. Ar Eru Araya Oreono. That's not a flump. A flump flare. Is that also flying? It's pretty perfect. Yeah, it is flying. Damn it, grease is useless. <laughs> Shit spell. Uh, I guess we can daze it, although the will save is pretty damn good, certainly. Just needle darts it. You're heavily buffed here, so. Just hope it doesn't have any AOE attacks. Uh, it kinda does. Uh, linger the composition. <laughs> I can retch. Looking forward to save against DC 16 or success. The second value is reduced by one or two in a crit. Um, it has terrible perfume. Hmm. Uh, let's, uh, I can't bomb mod it. No valid target. And I can't understand. <laughs> the target can't understand your witter remarks. Wow, rude. Well, be, let's be threatening to it. Girl. Work. <laughs> Yield. Okay. Command the bear. All right, the bear's actually quite quick. I like it. Rush up here. Stampede. Bite the flump. Alright. Not to pray the flump. Good. Very good. That's a bit rough. Uh so we had something up here here. I guess something is coming up north next. So let's just stand here inside the bless and raise the shield. Let's see if 
Oh, 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 oh god, look at that thing. <laughs> now that has an AoE attack. For damn sure. Also flying though. Maybe I'll take, maybe I'll take Grease off the, the spell. Spell uh, remembrance here. Breath weapon? Yeah, it does have a breath weapon. Has to link kill kinetic projectile. Pretty damn strong, in fact. Days it was plus eleven. Goodness gracious! Great balls of fire. Reflex is twelve. Yeah, all of the, all of those are bad options. Uh, we will move here, and then we will try to hit with needle darts. All right, he hit our fighters and the bear, and they have good saves, so we're good. Thing with the composition. I'll soothe the bear. There, there. That was not a lot of healing. That was uh, that was a one <laughs> on the healing dice. Great, thanks. That was useful. Uh, command the bear. Command him into flanking position here because that is important. Yes. And pray. Ah, we got this. With his ranger power. A complete victory for the Dawnsbury Four. We have obtained the Golden Candelabra. Hooray! Yes, and um, if nobody else wants to, then I volunteer to carry the artifact. Oh, I want to take it. I'll happily take it back to Dawnsbury. The trophy should be proudly displayed and presented high. I can assume the ceremonial role. <laughs> Everyone is fighting for the honor. <laughs> then I cost us like oh my sake. Oh, on second thought, this honor belongs to the battle leader. Right. Anna should take the artifact. Yeah. You take it, Anna. That's right. We'll bring it back together. Yay! Friendship. It's one team, one party. Anna, I feel like the candelabra's glow field is still expanding. <gasps> I feel it too. I think after we take it back home, it will cover the whole of Donsbury. Or perhaps the whole peninsula. Everyone will feel its glow and get accustomed to its warmth once again. I mean, um, a, a, a peninsula-wide blessing would be nice. We did make Roderick proud, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did, Sappy. Now come, everyone. Let's return home. The quest for the Golden Candelabra is complete. Yahoo! Look at that. What an incredible victory. Glorious. We are... It's time to level up. Very exciting. Bird feet, what do we have? What do we mean archetype dedication? Well, I guess we could, but no. What kind of expansion? I guess the hymn of healing, right? Very temporary respect. It's not bad. Reach. Reach isn't bad either. That magic weapon buff. Archetype, no. no. Not archetype, absolutely not. <laughs> not. Not to level four. That's, that's not. Uh, so it's a hit one. It's hymn of healing or it's reach spell. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder which one is best. Honestly, I'll take the hymn of healing just because we are we are kind of limited on healing. Although we didn't need too much of it in the first adventure, but maybe coming up or rough. One more spell. Uh, yeah, magic missile. It's just. It's too good not to take, I feel. Scarlet Rangers. Alright, what do we have? We have... Yeah, grab, it, grab the weapon. Uh, it's a focus spell, so you get a focus pool of one. Build up a gravitational force and funnel it into your blows, leading to more powerful attacks with blade and bow alike. For the rest of the encounter, on your first weapon strike each round, you gain a status bonus to damage equal to twice the number of weapon damage done. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, twin takedown. Uh, I both have. Nah. Hunter's aim. Um, a ranged weapon strike against your hunter prey on this strike in a plus two service bonus to the attack roll and ignore the concealed condition. 
Not at all, actually. Draw. Yeah. I just hold. Make a strike. Strike gains a circumstance bonus to the attack. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting like focus takedown thing uh we do hunter's aim there were there were there were a few situations where that could be good although i'm happy to see that uh, allies don't seem to block line of sight um yeah. that is a variant rule i certainly go with as well i i i prefer allies i, I think that's something that fourth edition dnd did did pretty well actually um i like allies getting out of the way for your shots uh, all right fighter Hmm. Assisting shot, nope. Combat grab. Uh, and hand free, we don't have a hand free. Dueling parry. Intimidating strike. Make a melee strike. If you hit and deal damage, your target is frightened. That's not bad at all. Sudden charge, not bad either. Stride twice. And if I get into uh, melee reach, you attack. It's not bad at all. And we have a lot of ways of actually demoralizing enemies. So maybe... Oh, but... That is pretty damn good, though. It's pretty damn good, though. Back. Text card like a map. If the strike hits, you deal an extra die of weapon down. I mean, sudden charge is not bad. Allows him to get into position. Do sudden charge. Wizard. You're a wizard, Safi. Taking all of the feats already, basically. Ablating spell. Uh, you can spend an extra action when you cast a spell. But if you do, you can just NG equal. Ah. Or cantrips, or we could get an archetype dedication to get like. I don't even know. Cleric, maybe? Oh, I could get cleric. That way I can use those heal scrolls. Not bad. Do that. Oh, damn it. I missed dedication. Okay. Dedication. I mean, get another animal companion out there. Not bad either. Sentinel. Ah, <sighs> medic dedication. No cleric dedication. That's unfortunate. On to that. Mm, mm, yeah. Battlemaster. I mean, what other stuff do we have? Not that much, honestly. Cantrip expansion. Even will that be more? Is there two cantrips here? Like I would like. Cool. That machine touch is crap, honestly. Don't like it. Boo shell touch. Gale blast that we do instead. Back roll, produce flame. Could be an option. Something that vulnerable to fire. I guess it is the wizard's job to sort of have stuff to target elemental weaknesses. So sure, let's do that. Let's get some more elemental cantrips in there. Now we have for fire. We have for ice. We have bludgeoning. <laughs> we have electric. We have piercing. So, okay, let's cantrip expansion it. Um, one more spell to prepare. Reese didn't do it really for me, but I'll, I'll keep it as close. I'm an animal? Uh, I'm going to cast a spell again to sustain a spell to two actions and some creature. Let's get something else on, on the on the thing there. I don't... Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of text in the Horizon Thunder Sphere. Hmm. Virgin Flora. Hmm. <laughs> 
Sky <laughs> piercing. Okay, I mean, this is not bad with widening spell. This this could be decent. You know what? Sure. Let's try this. That's a weird spell I don't recognize. Dude, is that a... Oh, it's a, probably a kineticist spell, actually. Probably what that is. Interesting. Let's give it a go. Uh, yeah, with leveled up, uh, we can now do some shopping. Oh, I got a plus one morning star from that. Um, can I sell things? Can I sell the next splitter? Yes. One sword goes there. It's bludgeoning or piercing from the morning stars. We'll keep that. Mail can be sold. Uh, you don't get any dedication to use actually the, the heal scroll. So I guess we will use those for now. Are they worth? Hmm, sure. Fortunate, but here we are. I would like a. We have a plus one pick, per chance. You want a plus one? Okay. Okay. Half of spell potency plus one. Yeah, this is definitely not in the, the original rules. You want that, though. That's really good. Um. But armor, I would like some armor plus build. We have good stuff here. We only have sixty gold though. Full plate thirty. Yeah. Here. It's the bulwark. Yeah, we'll we'll get the full plate for Tom. He he's a fighter. He's worth the full. Plate. I get one more fine thing. Those should just bandolier. Nah. Yes. I mean, a plus one bow wouldn't be too bad, but we have magic weapon to cover a lot of that. Devil spell potency is gone, gone damn good. Pretty much. That would help Safi a lot. Yeah, let's do that. Club, dump the club thing there, and then we get this. Look at that. Such power! More gold left. I uh, don't necessarily need anything else. would have liked the a plus one pick, but uh, the spell potency is just uh, for now, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, all right, that was the first adventure. It was the first quest for the Golden Candelabra. I will stop the local recording here uh, and then come back when we are ready to continue. Uh, for viewers watching at the stream, I'm going to take a quick break to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. 